to High River, Alberta. They've had some tough times in High River this year, but you cannot keep a good town down. And that is why, despite all the flood damage, they are still hosting this year's Canadian Hot Air Balloon Championships. This week, the Mercer Report is on the air, in the air, high and dry in High River. This is Sherry Scottapol, and Sherry is a crew member, and her husband is a pilot, and Sherry invited us here today. Hi, Sherry, how are you? I'm great, Rick, how are you? Thank you very much. Okay, we're in High River. When did you decide to have the Canadian Hot Air Balloon Championships happen here? Uh, it was decided, actually, a little over a year ago, mm -hmm. but when the flooding happened, we were unsure as to whether we could actually still have the event go on. And what made you decide, no, we're going to do it? Well, as a ballooning community, we really wanted to bring the balloons to High River mm -hmm. in the hopes that we could bring some, hopefully, laughter and fun back in. Right. And also showcase that the town is still recovering. So some of the people are competing against each other, and some of them are just going for joy rides and showing off, and people get to enjoy the balloons. Right. We have a Fiesta group, which is five or six balloons that are just flying for fun. But and I'll have... be part of the Fiesta group. Yes, you will be. Yes. And what will I be doing in the Fiesta group? Well, uh, you'll be flying with a very reputable pilot. Yes. He's going to teach you how to fly that balloon. And what's his name? His name is Ron Lessaway. Hello, Ron. How are you? Rick, I'm wonderful. Good to see you, sir. And you are with Rainbow Balloons over Calgary. You are a, a certified pilot, correct? Uh, certified, you're right, and I'm a pilot, too. Really, look how small the basket is. And it's wicker. Is that out of tradition? Wicker is out of tradition, but it's also because if they found this is the most durable piece of equipment for the situation. For the situation. How many propane tanks are we packing here? I've got uh, six tanks. My God. We are like a, basically a hydrogen bomb. This is good. That's awesome. So we're a twin engine. Oh, yeah, I like it. A couple of my biggest fans are here. Being an optimist, I believe the balloon is half full. Always half full. This is so cool. It's like it's like one of those bouncy castles that you just blow up. No, 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 no Rick, you inflate. You inflate. Right. You inflate. Don't say blow up. Just checking for holes. No one told me, but that's initiative. A yellow happy face, symbolizing cowardice. This is pretty neat. Wonderful. This is awesome. Isn't it great? It is. You know what I keep thinking? This is like an awesome temporary nightclub. You could put out little tables. To that? Look, How do you steer? It's, it's the hot air. How do you steer? Do you know I left the steering wheel at home? <laughs> There's no warning, eh? Okay, you just. Do. That's not gonna burn my hair, is it? I have to put on a hat. Where are we going? What is happening? It's just happening, just like. <laughs> this is like a prison break. This is awesome, but weird. And it's so peaceful up here, which is making me incredibly anxious. <laughs> because I like to hear massive jet engines when I'm this high in the air. There you go. So I see we're leaving the city limits where I assume we will be found. Uh, Hello down there on the deck. What's your name? <laughs> I know this won't happen, but if we ran out of gas, would we just slowly descend? We would begin slowly, and then we would pick up rapidly. So do you feel that we're going down a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is inflated. That's like Tony Clement's ego after reading his own Twitter feed. That's what that is. Inflated. This is stunning. We're floating over Alberta. The train is coming. People are out waving at us. I don't have water balloons. 
This is so cool, it's like a toy train kit. And there's even little cows and little farmhouses and little bales of hay, and we're plummeting. <laughs> 79 more days, we're around the world. That'd be kind of cool to land in someone's yard. I'm sure they would welcome us. People in Alberta are very friendly. Absolutely. And they would love that. If a balloon landed in their yard, not on their Lexus or their big truck. What's going to happen right. is we're going to come down, and as the balloon comes into the field, it contacts with the ground. So we need to get everybody down, and we, this is where we become very good friends, tucked in together, backs in the direction that we're landing. OK. So this is it, eh? Really? This, this, is, this is the landing position? Will you give us some warning? Yeah. OK, that's good. You guys are a great crew. I just want you to know that. <laughs> we're down. Hard. We're down. Hey, That was epic, epic landing. Coming in her, that's like, that's like Dean Del Masso her. That's what that is. That's, whew, that's like the shuttle landing. This is so cool. Wow, that was awesome. I, like I love High River. You're watching the Mercury Report on C.